Mary. What is it now? We've left that lies of 60 quid in my other clothes. Oh, never mind, Tim, dear. We'll share all I've got left. Oh, that uh, won't take long. <sighs> I'm very sorry I ever left our farm to get up here to be covered with mud and get chased by bloodhounds. Tim. Do you remember when we fell in the duck pond on our farm? <laughs> what? The duck pond that I took for you? Yes. Do you remember the little china duck? Uh, do you remember the barn I built for your guinea pig? <laughs> it's a jolly little farm, isn't it? It is. <laughs> simply perfect, and the soil's a lovely warm. It measures half an acre, more or less. And we've got a little paddock quite conveniently near, though of course the paddock isn't very wide. When the donkey rolls his nose against the railing over here, well, his tail is swishing round the other side. It's, it's a, a nice little, little farm. And you won't do any harm if you come and have a look at it one day. And I'm hoping to a bet if next summer isn't wet, we shall gather quite a basket full of hay. Though the place isn't big, we've a piggy wiggy wig and a garden with a lot of pretty flowers. And we've got a giddy goose who is always on the loose. Oh, you'll love a little farm like us. We bought a pig one summer when our funds were running high. A pig upon whose ways you could depend. He used to look so handsome in his cozy little sty. He was really more a brother than a friend. There was something sympathetic in that why he even used to answer to our call. When the butcher came to take him, well, we couldn't let him go. And we never had our bacon after all. It's a nice little farm, and you won't do any harm if you come and have a tumble in the hay. We've a cow you would applaud, and we always call her Maud, for she comes into the garden every day. We've a spade and a hoe, and some turnips in a row, which are doing very nicely in the shard. And we now intend to keep just a half a brace of sheep. Oh, you'll love a little farm like ours.